What's up everybody, welcome to Best Massage Tech, where today I'm taking a look at the Compex Air. So Compax is a company that has a variety of different products in the athlete recovery space. I'd say their main product that they're known for is their muscle stimulation devices. The Compax Air is something that I've known about for a while. However, it wasn't until Therabody recently releasing their jet boots that I knew that I had to take a look at the Compax Air because they were the only other set of compression boots that I was aware of that were fully wireless. So the Compax Air are self-described by Compax as a wireless rapid recovery compression boot. And compared to a lot of the other compression boots that I've taken a look at, I wouldn't necessarily classify this as a true compression boot. And I'll talk a little bit about that why later in the video. But to start off, I do want to talk about what comes with the Compax Air out of the box. I'll talk about some of the features and specifications of this device. And then I will go ahead and try them on and use them and provide some of my thoughts after the initial use. So out of the box, everything that comes with the Compax Air does come in its own carrying case. It is a very premium carrying case. It's basically what I would compare to a massage gun carry case, just a lot, lot bigger. So this case is 16 inches by 12 inches. It's very rigid and sturdy. You've got a blue little accent around the edges. You've got a handle with a rubber carry grip. It does have two zippers with the Compex logo. They're just plastic zippers. Inside the case, you have what I would consider to be a felt lining. So you've got a nice soft material. You've got a little uh, elastic pouch here. The whole case is lined. You do have the Compex logo on the front here as well. So very nice case. Inside the case is then everything else. So the first thing you'll see inside the case is the boots themselves. So you do have two boots that come like this. The signature piece of this is the wireless pump that is on the top of the boot here. So it's just basically a little battery pack and pump that is stitched onto the boot. Now this is a four chambered boot. So you have three chambers in the lower half and then one chamber in the top half. The lower half encloses with a zipper that runs down the front of the shin. The upper half is uh, three Velcro straps. So they're big thick Velcro straps here. You can just fully open this up and wrap your leg in. The inside is a different material. Obviously you'll see it's blue here, but it's a little bit smoother, more designed for an easy clean. The outside is a little bit of a thicker material. I'd say it's a little bit thinner than what I've seen in other compression recovery boots, but overall a relatively similar feel. And then you do have sort of some accent stitching around the outside of the boot here, which is a little bit more of like a vinyl rubber type material. Then going down the boot, you do have the Compex branding as well. The whole boot just says Compex on it. So that is what the two boots look like. Then you get a quick start guide. So the quick start guide is just one little sheet here. You've got basically points out what everything is. On the back, you just have some precautions and quick start directions. Now there is no full instruction manual that comes with this. So this was actually not enough for me to get started. I actually had to Google the full instruction manual. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about that when I dive into some of the features of these boots. And then the very last thing that you get with these boots is the charging cord. So the charging cord is a very long charging cord. In order to charge these boots, the cord does have a splitter, so you can charge both of the boots at the same time. All you need to do is take your boot, and on the very top of the boot, there is a little hole in the pump, and you just plug this in. Now, it does take uh, about two hours to fully charge these. However, out of the package, mine were both fully charged, so I haven't had to fully charge them yet. Just be aware that it does take a little bit of time just to charge both of those up. Uh, it doesn't come with the wall adapter in it, but it does come with three different attachments for the wall adapter. So you have this one here, you have another uh, European style one, and then you have the US based plug. In order to attach these, they do just slide on over the little prongs that are in here and attach real easily. So that is everything that comes with the boots. It all comes inside the box, inside the case. To talk a little bit more now about some of the specifications and features. So I did mention that this is a four chambered boot. The chambers in this boot are not overlapping and they do not have a true negative gradient compression. So all the chambers are gonna be set at whatever individual pressure you set them at, but they do not overlap. And there's obviously a big gap here uh, between 
the third chamber and the fourth chamber. So you're not gonna have a consecutive flow like you would with maybe a standard compression boot like a Recovery Air or a Normatec or a Rapid Reboot. Now with that, you can sort of mimic the idea of deactivating individual chambers just by setting the pressure of an individual chamber to zero. Now that being said, there are 12 different pressure settings that range from zero all the way up to 120 millimeters of mercury. You can change that in 10 millimeter of mercury increments. And you do have the ability to use these boots with two different massage routines. So they call those routines F1 and F2. With F1, it's gonna go chamber by chamber starting at the foot and progress up until the whole boot is inflated. It will then hold for 10 seconds, deflate for 60 seconds, and then start back over. For F2, it will pump all the chambers all at once. Again, you can individually set the pressure for each chamber, but it will pump them all at once. It will then, once again, hold for 10 seconds, deflate, and then rest for 60 seconds before starting again. Now these boots do come in two different sizes. So they come in a small, medium, and a large, extra large. So I have the small medium here. The small medium is designed to fit people with 32 inch inseams or less, or people that are six foot or under. I am five foot nine with a 32 inch inseam. The large extra large is designed for people with 32 inch or higher inseams or that are taller than six feet. I will say they are quite a bit shorter than I expected for a full compression boot. Uh, it does just barely go past my knee, but that is just something that I think comes with the territory of the type of the device that this is. Uh, I will go ahead and show myself putting on it so you guys can actually see the sizing on it. But just to talk a little bit about a couple more things, this device does not come with any sort of Bluetooth or mobile controls. So you do have to control everything right here on the individual pump itself. Now, because it is wireless, it is obviously battery powered. The battery life on this is only one hour. However, the maximum session time is really unlimited. So this is gonna basically go until the battery dies. There's an interesting time function on here where it does track the overall lifespan of battery of this. It does say that the total lifespan is only 99 hours. So that's a little disheartening to hear and I, maybe I'm interpreting that incorrectly, but the one instruction manual that I said said total lifespan, 99 hours. So you basically can go until the battery just dies, but with a battery life of only an hour, I can't see how you would ever stretch it to a full 99 hours in one use. Um, so that's why I am interpreting it as the total lifespan of the battery is only 99 hours, but maybe somebody else has these and they can correct me on that interpretation there. But that's the only information I was able to find on the actual battery life itself. So that pretty much covers everything in terms of the specifications and features of the boots. With that, I will go ahead and show myself putting these on and actually go ahead and show myself using them. And actually before I go ahead and put the boots on, I will actually show how the controls of this boot work just because it'll be a little bit easier for me to show it without having the boots on and I can hold it up to the camera here. So you see when looking at it, you've got two different buttons. You have a power button and you have the set button. Once you turn it on, it's gonna light up with two different things here. You're gonna have the chamber and the time on one side and you're gonna have the pressure on the other side. Now the reason I'm talking about this is uh, before I turn it on is that because once you turn it on, it will start the pump relatively quickly. So once you turn it on, it's gonna give you the opportunity to choose your mode, which is gonna be F1 or F2, and then you can cycle through and choose individual chamber pressure. So in order to turn it on, you just press and hold the power button. For a second, it will light up. On the top here, you can cycle through the pressures. It'll go in the 10 millimeter increments there. Once you get to where you want, you just press and hold, and it'll adjust to the next chamber. So C1 was the foot, C2 is the next chamber up. So you just adjust the pressure. And again, this will go all the way up to 120. Once you get to 120, it'll go back down to zero. Once you get it to a number that you want, just press and hold, it'll go to the next one then. So you got C3 here, which is the third chamber. It's always gonna start at 50, so you can always adjust from there. Press and hold. And then C4 is the final chamber. Just go ahead and adjust that there. When you're ready to get started, you can press that power button, but if you do wanna change the modes, you just press and hold, so F1 there, F2. So again, F1 is gonna be sequential. Once you're ready to get started, just go ahead and press it, and it will go ahead and count down and eventually get started. There is the sound of the pump. It is a relatively quiet pump. But I'm gonna go ahead and put these on now just so you guys can see these in full use. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it off. To do that, you just press and hold the power button. So then once you are ready to go ahead and put the boots on, just go ahead and unzip the lower half and unvelcro the top half. You're just gonna slide your foot in like you're putting on a boot. And then just go ahead and zip up the bottom part. And then on your thigh, 
You want to make sure that it's relatively firm and just go ahead and Velcro the three straps across. It should be nice and taut and fit really well. And then once you're ready to go ahead and get started, you can just press and hold the power button and turn both of your boots on. And then once you're ready to get started, just go ahead and press and hold the power button on both pumps for one second. They will light up. And I'm actually going to just show a quick video of this here so you can see. And they will both start pumping at the same time if you turn them on together. It is a little bit awkward that they're in the inner thigh that they can bump together here. But you'll see here they're going at a slightly different pace. And it's just going to slowly fill up each chamber here. Let's see if I can get a good view of it here. So what I'm feeling here is that there's air on the bottom of my foot and on the top, but there's not any air along the zipper here. So this is all just my leg on the other side. There's not a full amount of air fully around it. I can feel air on both sides of my leg, but not on the top. And then as you get to the fourth chamber, I'm feeling air pretty much all the way around here. And as it gets to the end here, you'll see I've got different pressure settings for the fourth chamber. This one's 50, this one's 100 so this one definitely feels tighter. It's going to hold this for 10 seconds and now it's releasing and as it releases it'll then sit there for 60 seconds. So I'm not going to let this go for a minute to show that but in terms of what it looks like when it's filled again you see here there's there's not really any air here in the top. Again on the feet it's on the top and the bottom but it's a little bit of an interesting angle here. So overall, that's what they look like when they're pumped. Again, you have the big gap on the knees here, so it's not a true fill. Uh, you do kind of lose that pressure in between the knee gap, mostly just squeezing your muscles. So just a couple other pieces of information about the Compax Air. So they are currently priced on Compax's website for $470. They do come with a one year warranty. Now because the pump is built into these, you do only get the boots. You don't have the ability to adjust different attachments for your hips or your arms. The legs themselves are not connected as I mentioned. So you do have to turn each individual pump on separately. They're not gonna connect via Bluetooth or, or control at the same time. So you could have different routines going on each individual leg. And then lastly would just be that the device can be used while it's charging. So if your battery does die and you wanna keep using it, you can just go ahead and plug the power cord into it and you will still be able to keep using it while it's plugged in. So overall, that's just a quick look at the Compax Air. In terms of some of the things that I really like about this device, the first thing would be that it is wireless and cordless. I just think that's an awesome thing. The pump is actually pretty quick in terms of what it's able to do for such a small little pump. And I really like the case that it comes with. I think it's a really nice case. I wish Therabody would take note and provide a similar case with their jet boots. Unfortunately, they didn't do that. And also, unfortunately, those are about the only things that I can speak to that I really like about this device. To call itself a compression recovery boot is a little bit deceiving compared to a normal compression recovery boot, which is a full boot. I would compare this more to just something that's gonna squeeze your legs. It's not designed to move fluids or anything. It says that it's designed to temporarily relieve minor aches and pains. And so if you're somebody that thinks that just a gentle squeeze on one part of your leg is gonna help do that, then this could be something for you. In terms of things that I think they could improve on, I do wish that they would just make it a full boot. In order to truly be a compression recovery boot, in my mind, it needs to be a full sleeve of continuous pressure from the foot all the way up to your groin. So that's just my opinion on that. I think they need to include an instruction manual with it. So uh, I'm somebody that has taken a look at a lot of different devices like this, and I struggled to figure out how the heck to work it and how to change the chambers pressure on it and how to change the different modes on it. There was no instructions on the quick start guide. I had to actually Google and find a full instruction manual. And then even within that, it was like the second to last page in the manual. So just that was a little confusing, really confusing on the time setting. I could never get anything to actually show up for the time function. It only showed the chamber that was getting activated each time the pressure was going to that chamber. So didn't really understand the time function other than it just continuously keeps going until you turn it off. I think the battery life at an hour is a little bit low. Uh, just knowing what the jet boots are capable of and those are like three to four hours. Just 
I feel like they could improve something with that with the battery life. And then the last thing was I just wish the boots were longer in themselves. So not only do I wish they were continuous, but I just wish they went higher up on my leg that I could get more of a squeeze on my entire thigh. Most of the chambers are all in the lower leg and it's just pretty much a foot and calf massager at that point. And to me, again, that's not a true compression recovery boot. So unfortunately, uh, even though this is relatively fairly priced at $470, this is just not something that I feel like I can recommend to anybody. I don't really see the benefit. Again, if you're somebody that you think you'll benefit just from the gentle squeeze of it, then absolutely, yeah, this would be something that you know might be a perfect device for you. But in my mind, it's just a glorified device similar to the Reathlete C, uh, which is just another compression recovery boot. It's basically the same thing as this, but um, a lot, uh, a lot more complex, I guess I would say. They didn't have the pump built into it. It had a separate pump and a handle and a bunch of hoses everywhere. And I wasn't a huge fan of that device. This is just pretty much an amped up version of that device. So again, can't really recommend this, unfortunately, but if you guys do have specific questions about the Compax Air, go ahead, drop in the comments down below. If you disagree with me, go ahead and comment that down below as well. I'd love to know why this would be a good device for you and why you think this could be beneficial. But otherwise, that is the Compex Air. If you guys like videos like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Consider giving this video a thumbs up. Otherwise, that is the Compex Air. That's a review. Enjoy your recovery.